How good do you think Justin Fields will be in 2023? Now you're a Lions fan now. Now you you watched Justin Fields. Now the second time you played against Justin Fields, you pretty much shut him down. But the first time this dude was going ham. Like from watching Justin Fields, do you think he could have like a Jalen Hurts kind of ascension? Or do you think he's kind of going to be stuck in the mold of a pretty okay dual threat quarterback, kind of in that Vince Young category? He'll make a couple of Pro Bowls, but long term, he just isn't a valuable solution as your franchise QB. I think it depends on how you view his head coach and his offensive coordinator, right? If they if they understand how to use his strengths, then he can be sky's the limit, right? But if you're telling me that you're going to ne neglect and continue to fail to build the offensive line around him, yeah, he's going to struggle. You're telling me that, hey, we move on from David Montgomery and you go out and sign Homer. Okay. You bring in Foreman. All right, cool. You already have uh, Khalil um, Herbert. Herbert. So, okay. But if those guys can't get going behind an offensive line that can't keep people up right, what are we talking about here? So, again, this is one of the reasons why I don't believe in paying these quarterbacks this money because everything is too contingent upon other stuff being appropriate. I've watched people who was able to survive those beatings like Stafford, right? I've watched people who started getting hit and couldn't handle it and started crying like Aaron Rodgers. Spent all the time being clean, having every top receiver you can get. And then all of a sudden they take the receivers away and give you some newer receivers who are just as good but your line ain't that strong, and we, we're whining. So it depends on how you view the, the, the head coach. It's a, it depends on how you use the offensive coordinator. Justin Fields, in my opinion, um, like many quarterbacks, if a storm is perfect, they'll perform. I don't care who it is. Hell, look at Geno Smith. Talk about mm -hmm. a resurgence. Talk about a resurgence. All they did was say, run the ball, make them throw, throw a few passes short here and there. He'd be okay. That's all they did. So when you look at it, tell me tell me how you feel about their offensive coordinator. You know, tell me what you think about their head coach. And tell me, do you believe that those people can come up with a game plan that uses his skills? When you look at the Eagles, Jalen Hurts succeeded because they used him similar to how they would use him in college. They let him move the pocket. They let him move around. The line was taught, hey, we're going to call plays where you're taught to move your line and you're blocking the time to the right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a bootleg. Y'all going to move to the right. He going to bootleg out to the left and get him in space. If it's not there, take off a run. See, they were doing things to do that. And a lot of times these coaches and these teams get players and they don't use them to the strength or to the way that they was used in college that got them drafted. And that's the problem. So if you're telling me that Jalen Hurts is going to be used to the strength that got him drafted, then he's going to be a problem. But if you're telling me that they ain't quite figured out how to build something around him, then he's about as harm as uh he's about as har uh, harmful as eating blueberries in the wild <laughs> right like it's nothing gonna it's not gonna shake anything up like i said it's one of those things and so um you you have to do that um you know um you know you have to do that when looking at it okay you know you have to look at how he's going to be used in period you know what i'm saying how how are they going to view him